Hello everybody and welcome to our Trivia Saturday Day. Yeah, I still have to come up with a good name for this. I don't know what to call it, but just kind of this, that, and the other. Some interesting things about the scripture, uh, biblical times, the way we study the Bible. It's going to be a hodgepodge of a lot of different things. But I thought this would be a good time, since we're coming up on Holy Week, to talk about the, the religious situation in uh, Jesus' day. You see a lot in the scriptures about his confrontation with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Now, there's also another big group around at that time, too, the Essenes, who Jesus may have had quite a bit of contact with. In fact, it's often thought that John the Baptizer was part of that influential group. But it, it's hard to say. It's just hard to say. But two groups that Jesus was particularly down on in the religious establishment were the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And it's, it's kind of fascinating to know that they both operated out of a different Bible, so to speak. Yeah, we often think that, hey, all the Jews, they had their Bible back then, and that's what they believed, and this, that, and the other. That's not true. In fact, it's not until around the year 90 that the bulk of Judaism had actually had their set of scriptures canonized. We don't think about it. In other words, these are the books of the Bible we are going to accept as being given to us by God. That didn't happen until almost the year 90. 90 AD, 90 CE, that common error on or AD, the year of our Lord. That's after Jesus. But they still held before that as they continued their debates over what is in and what's out. They still held uh, what we see in our Old Testament as, as sacred. But it's important to know that there's a big difference between the two groups. See, the Pharisees were probably the ones that Jesus would agree with the most in that they accepted what we now have and what they now have as the Pentateuch. That's the uh, first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the Book of the Law, the books of Moses. There's a lot of different, the Torah, you know, all the different uh, names that are given to that. So the first five books and also the writings that would be some of like psalms and proverbs and, and things like that but also the the big prophets the major prophets and the minor prophets and those are divided up sometimes a little bit differently than what we have but in essence the hebrew people meaning who were part of the pharisees they adhered to all those scripture texts all right as did jesus now that also meant that they believed in some of the things that were kind of alluded at and we'll see some of that in some of it's in kind of cryptic ways you really have to read into it they they would believe in uh things like uh the resurrection of the dead um angels those types of thing uh demons they there's a uh, Within those scriptures, there's talk of uh, a judgment, a final judgment by God. So we have all that going on. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The Pharisees, the people had a lot of contact with the Pharisees. On the other hand, the Sadducees, they were like the elite group within Judaism. They were the ones who were the high priests. In fact, there were no Pharisees who were high priests. No, uh, uh. They were. They all came from the Sadducees, and <clears throat> the the one thing that separated the Sadducees from the Pharisees is they only believed in the first five books of the Bible. That only they were sacred. Only they were divinely inspired by God. That's it. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. The rest of it, nope. 
They didn't they didn't bother with it. They didn't mess with it. Uh, and so now you can see where you know, Jesus had some interesting times with them because it's the Sadducees, remember, they came to Jesus the one time and said, Hey, uh, can you help us out here, Jesus? Uh, this this guy um, died and his wife remarried and then the second husband died and then she remarried and the third husband died and you know go on and on and so when they all go to heaven whose husband is she gonna whose wife is she gonna be which one of those is gonna be a real husband and Jesus right off the bat says yeah what are you talking about you guys don't even believe in the resurrection so just get lost <laughs> so you can see the humor in some of the things that happen if you understand what the Sadducees stand for. Because in those first five books of the Bible, there is no talk whatsoever of a life to come. <clears throat> Eternal life in those five books is what starts right now. And as you live on forever through your descendants. That's why it was so important to have kids and have lots of kids so that your name would live on forever. Ah, what else can we say about that? Oh, the name Pharisee itself comes from a Hebrew word, uh, parash, that basically means to be separate. In other words, we live separate lives from the other people. And, and we do that because we want to stay ritually ritually poor um not ritually poor <laughs> ritually clean from the rest of the world all right now the sadducees that name came from another hebrew word uh sadiq which means the righteous one all right and there's also some talk that now, nah, now nah, the name came from Zadok, who was the high priest during King David's time. We don't really know, but just keep in mind they were the the elite, the upper class, the upper crust of the whole shebang of people who were uh, Jewish. Now, what's also interesting that we don't realize, I'm not even going to name all these other groups, but there's a whole slew of different names. Of of different groups associated with Judaism in Jesus' day. Uh, another one that you may have seen that's given some reference in the scriptures are the Zealots. The Zealots are another group. Some people say they wondered if Jesus may have been associated with them. As we clearly see, he didn't have those th same thoughts of revolution you know, take up the sword. He, he was telling everyone, put the swords away. That's not the way of, of God's kingdom. But they were clearly there hoping for a Messiah who would lead us on to victory. Yeah. Kick out those nasty Romans. All right. So keep that in mind as you're reading the scriptures. We, we think we're kind of crazy today with all these different denominations we have within Christianity and there's a lot of them if you start going through you know what I'm not sure look it up in online maybe there's a place there that t tells you all the different groups I don't think it's possible because there's always something new popping up here and there but even within our own country United States there are lots and lots of different Christian groups but just to know that even among the Judaism of Jesus day there were many different avenues that you could take and still call yourself a Jew all right well continue to enjoy our weather because it's going to get a little chillier this week this weekend and it'll cool off a little bit this week too but hey it is Sunday of the Passion tomorrow get ready Listen to the Passion account as it's read in church or online, however you're, you're viewing it. And be ready for the coming days of this holiest week for our lives as Christians. Jam-packed full 
of great stuff as we talk about God's love poured out for us on the cross. God's blessings be with you.